Dr. Richard Warren, Jr., Somerset County. I am incredibly excited, yet I am extremely humbled to know that I now represent some of the most devoted and dynamic teachers across the state of Maryland. It is truly a blessing. It is truly a blessing. To serve alongside some of the best and brightest educators in this nation. Please join me one more time as we give our Teachers of the Year in Maryland another round of applause. I would like to say thank you. Thank you to those who worked tremendously um, to put on this occasion for all of us to the Maryland State Department of Education, all of the sponsors, Darla, Regina, Kelly, all of you, thank you so much. This is so wonderful and it speaks value of the value that you place on the educators here. I would like to thank Again, all of our sponsors, especially to ASBO for sponsoring a table so my family could be here tonight. Thank you. And to the University of Maryland Eastern Shore for sponsoring a table and for being the institution that I've earned all three of my degrees from. And for preparing me for the perplexity of education and the purpose that goes behind serving our students every day. Thank you. University of Maryland Eastern Shore. And to everyone in Somerset County Public Schools, Dr. Gaddis, our principals, our teachers, everybody who serves at the Board of Education, to the parents, students, community members, for your unwavering dedication and courageous commitment to ensuring that our students are upholding the standard of success and nothing less. We are small in number, but we are mighty in spirit. Thank you, Somerset County. <laughs> to my family, mom, <laughs> love you too. Mom, dad, mom, Dana, pop, Frank. <laughs> Kwani, to my sister who couldn't be here, Nashe, uh, to Shaisha, Rel, Tim, Asia, oh, man, Dwayne, TT, <laughs> all of you, thank you for supporting me and shaping me into the person I am today. And last but not least, to my son, little Richard, who couldn't be here today, he's three years old. <laughs> but when I look into his eyes every morning, he is my constant reminder that this is actually the second greatest achievement. And to my wife, Ebony, can you come up here, Ebony? Come on up here. I said this before and I'm going to say it again. You are my daily reminder that this is the second greatest achievement in my life. Having you in my life is the first. And I love you. For those of you who know, behind every great teacher is a great husband or wife. In this case, it's Ebony. Her steadfast love and unyielding support has been tremendous throughout this entire journey. And I wouldn't have it in any other way. And thank you. As I was sitting in my seat, I took a look around the room and I had to pause and thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. 
because I couldn't imagine what my life would be like without the support of teachers. I couldn't imagine when I was trying to find my identity as a teen, when I struggled in school, when I lost my friend who was killed while he was playing his video game, while I was going through some family crisis. Couldn't imagine what life would be like without teachers. It was teachers who stepped in and filled in all the gaps for me. And while Maryland Teacher of the Year is a phenomenal honor, it is minimal compared to the impact and the inspiration that teachers have on the lives of students. I'm a living example. <laughs> I'm a living example that your sleepless nights, that your hard work, that your lesson plans, that your professional development is not in vain. I stand here not only as Maryland Teacher of the Year, but as a changed man, infected and impacted by teachers like you who gave your all to students like me. And I'll leave you with this. Education is powerful when teachers teach with all their heart and never give up on your students, on each other, and on ourselves. Let's continue to persevere through this educational journey and harness the transformational power that education brings. Thank you.